Hey everybody, welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. This is <coughs> Thursday Cred. We are back after a long hiatus. Uh, and I'm finally, I, I was really bummed because I finally drove more players insane and and then I didn't get to play with them for an entire month. However, I have concocted many wonderful things in which to torture them with. So I, I guess it was nice having a break. Happy Thanksgiving. Wait, yeah. was it Thanksgiving? It was Thanksgiving. It was Thanksgiving. There you go. I'm going to burp right now. <laughs> Thank you very wow. much. All right. Well, before we get into the whole everything that's going on tonight, let me go ahead and read off the spiel here for you. I might burp again. No, I'm not going to. Hey, you can follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to hit us up on Discord and talk about all the awful things I have planned for these people on Cred, we can do that. If you want to buy some cool, awesome stuff, you can do that at Threadless. Uh, at M Hobo Inc. and buy some really cool swag. I hear there's some awesome uh, Dolly for Sue swag. No, that is hopefully not, going to hit. Not no? yet. Not, not yet. yet. Soon, no, no, soon. we haven't released the artwork yet. No, it we went back for a couple artwork. changes first. Oh, but okay. there, there may be some really awesome Dolly for Sue from last year's uh, crazy one shot. Oh, that was such great. Uh, but then, of course, you can always just get the even better, even awesomer. Uh, <gasps> cred swag i'm not wearing it because it smells like uh sewers which is <laughs> our promotions for uh, uh another guest nice. later on tonight but we'll talk about that later uh, <laughs> if you want to look at all of our beautiful faces and not get any of the physical gags like what wow what are you doing with your face dj that's that's disgusting well you audio files are definitely <laughs> going to miss it if you go to Podbean and listen to our podcast there as well as many of the other ones there. Um, I guess at this point, do I hit up the sponsors or did I forget something? I always forget something, I'm sure. I think you get it all. You get the story, you get Discord, you get oh, the audio thing. You know you what? Get... Was there an open seat? No, nope, you didn't do that. Shot. Uh, there is a one shot this week, I believe. There's a one shot this weekend? Yeah, I think something happened. So they can't do... Uh, calamity so this is a one shot this saturday if anybody wants it and there is a them. seat open hit us up at mhoboinc at gmail.com or again at twitter uh you do want to join in on those and if i'm lying it's carol's fault she misled me uh, I, I thought it was a one shot and how could she if not you know there's always the one shot next it week was an email saturday. i got so i don't think i read it wrong <laughs> She read it wrong. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors tonight. Pirate Dog Dice for when you're rolling like crap. Pirate Dog Dice. It won't make you roll any better unless you put the extra money in there. Get the nice DM dice. Uh, then it'll roll ones every single time you want something terrible to happen. And that leads us to our other sponsor. Uh, Adventure Sense. Does your game stink? Much like my cred hoodie. Adventure sense. We can mask it over just a little bit, rub some in the armpits there, toss the, the beads in there for when you do your uh, laundry. Uh, uh, that is a lie and a joke. Don't actually do that. But you can have wonderful smells like ancient library, uh, bar, and my personal favorite, um, sewers. It's delicious. Uh, and if you keep buying their stuff and if you keep bothering them, they will eventually make... Which one? Carol's Chlamydia Fence Post. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And it's not me. It's, it's somebody else. It's, they yeah, referenced it's it. Totally in somebody else. In cacophony. In cacophony. 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 Um, they also have other projects like how to RPG with your cat. You can also use that for your toddlers and other children. I know I do. They have claws like one, and I keep trying to have them removed by the veterinarian, but he says he won't do it because it's a. Uh, human rights violation i don't know that seems ridiculous to me it doesn't <laughs> seem like the right answer to me um but uh that's a great way to entertain your cats so they're not clawing your face off for a change uh and finally if you like writing uh just any sort of thing but mostly fantasy novels may i suggest the shine project it's a cute little system not a cute little system it's a great little system uh acute pointed questions 
That's what I meant to say, acute. And I'm sure I'm using that correctly. I don't have a dictionary, so I wouldn't know. But they will point you into the right questions that you didn't even think to ask yourself uh, and really fill out that story. It also works for DMs, GMs out there, uh, mothers, depending on what system you're playing. Uh, and eventually, uh, hopefully next year, very soon, they'll be coming out with another project specifically for GMing. Uh, so I know I'm going to get that when it comes out, uh, hopefully before all of you. And I can go, ha, 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 ha. Why didn't I think of that? Oh. And guys, that leads us into the game. Uh, as you haven't already figured out, I am Kyle. I am the DM tonight of this wonderful game where I plan on destroying all my players first mentally, uh, uh, then spiritually, and then finally I will sneak into their houses and murder them. The okay. characters. The characters. Mm -hmm. Characters. Characters. Uh, so let's go around, make introductions uh, to the scariest person on this stream tonight. Carol, why don't you introduce yourself <laughs> and your character? I knew it. I knew it. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm not really the scariest person here, I don't think, unless I'm in the GM chair. Uh, my name is, as I said, my name is Carol. I'm a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and a commission mini, pa mini painter with my own stream under newses underscore touch on Twitch. Um, actually, I'll probably be on late tomorrow night because I'm not going to be on Saturday. Uh, it, it said, on this game, I play Anja Jaeger, my half elven. Uh, Ranger. What the hell am I? <laughs> Ranger. It's been four weeks, man. It's been a month. I don't remember what the hell I'm doing here. And I actually am going to be on next week. I'm making a return to Cacophony with Rosa because Frank decided to be cute to send assassins after when I wasn't playing. So I get to play it out, which is awesome. And I also can be found in between the rows and occasionally do one shots. And actually next Saturday on the 18th, I will be running the next chapter of our four goblins who wanted to be Santa's elves uh, chapter, the next holiday one shot. And I freaking can't wait. Still got to finish the scenario, but uh, it's, that, it'll, that it'll be just done. sounds like poor, poor GMing. As you can tell, <laughs> I'm prepped and ready to go. Oh, tonight. sure. It'll be done. It'll nothing. be done. I'm, I'm, I'm like halfway through. So. <laughs> Uh, next, let's lead over to Ernie. Ernie, why don't you introduce yourself and your character uh, before you jump off and disappear tonight? I <laughs> promise I won't disappear, maybe. <laughs> so uh, my, my name is Ernest, and I'm playing Riley the Warlock. And uh, you know Riley. He almost got the party killed for a tablet last time. Let's see what happens this time when there's actually a powerful enemy. So I'm hoping to have some fun tonight. Um and yeah, short and sweet intro. Over to Bran. Over to Bran. Yeah, go ahead, Bran. Hello, I'm Bran. Actually, how's my audio sound? That You're was fine. really Keep loud. <laughs> cool. Let me turn that down. Hot mic. Hot mic tonight. Yeah, I've been, I just literally finished doing my setup, so I'm like all over the place. Uh, I am Bran. I, well, I am DJ playing Bran. The <laughs> Uh, way of the mercy monk and i have an insanity which i think is very appropriate yeah just a simple irrational hatred for something you know average stuff yeah you riley you thought you were going to talk to those ghouls but i'm just going to murder them all it's, it's not like i just want to murder every ghoul i ever see now no no just that one that drove you not to all of them actually <laughs> Although I beat you on the insanity train, I got the first one, so. Aren't we all jealous about that? <laughs> I know Jacob is. You can see it burning in his eyes. They're green with envy. Jacob, why don't you introduce yourself and your character and why you're going to kill Anja first for some odd reason? Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Jacob. I'm still relatively new to D&D here. So this is my, I think, first real big campaign. Um, I am playing Merrick Mismeadow, a halfling scout rogue uh, cartographer by trade. Um, I am currently thinking I'm in over my head. I'm wondering what I got myself into when I agreed to help you guys map out some simple tunnels here. <laughs> uh, 
Um, You're not the only one who thinks they're in over their heads. <laughs> no. I don't think I'm insane. I don't know that I'm insane yet. So. You're not. <laughs> no, just a little PTSD. <laughs> Yeah, you're not Fine. insane. There's only there's two people here who are insane, and you're not one of those two. Not officially yet. Oh, so so speaking of insanities, I have to share this story real quick. I, I like to donate plasma to give blood and everything like that. So last night I stand in line for three hours, oh, give no. plasma, and they bandage my arm and it's cold outside. I put my coat on and I walk outside and hop in the van, turn it on, and I start driving away. And I'm like, man, why is my why is my coat wet? <gasps> and so I pull over to the side of the road and I'm behind one of the nice fancy hotels in Lafayette. And I pull over and I hop out and I'm in a well-lit section and I peel off my coat and my arm is just a coat of blood literally dripping off oh. my fingers. It is foul. It is awful. And I just remember thinking, oh, huh. And I, I kind of went temporarily insane there for a second. Did, did they didn't the notice? Is, no, they didn't they notice. They let you I, out like that? Yeah, I put on my coat and walked out. They never noticed. The best part is I'm behind this hotel, this really nice hotel in Lafayette. And these uh, people who are staying at the hotel come out of the parking garage and are walking into the back of the hotel oh, and I'm standing there with blood <laughs> oh, my no. arm. and I'm not thinking clearly on us. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> did, they, okay. did they notice? They moved a little bit closer. You'd have to talk to Frank to see if they got any calls that night about a guy with blood all over him. If it, makes, if it makes you feel better, that happened to me when I was younger. Uh, uh, actually, at high school. I love uh, how they're telling these stories because they're, they're trying to trigger me. Yeah, it uh, gave blood and then I'm starting to walk away and it was just a fountain down my arm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, I okay, wanted to give okay, blood okay. and my body just wanted to keep giving. <laughs> Kyle, he says you're going to be swatted soon. Who's going to be? Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Frank says you're going to be swatted soon. Especially if you don't start this crap, game. I gotta fill up the hole in the back. You'll never see my wife or kids again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, <coughs> all right. So that's, that's just the story I had to share. I, I'm temporarily going Thanks. insane. <laughs> okay, Look, he's giving me tips on how to play my character. I see how that is. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, <laughs> if you see that much blood, just act normally. <laughs> So, uh, to catch us up, it's been a, a long month, a holiday. People have eaten, gone into comas, and then have woken up to eat more turkey and more pecans and go into more comas. So, to catch us up, last time we uh, were with our fellow adventurers here, uh, we were missing Jacob. Uh, uh, Merrick missed Meadow, who was uh, just kind of in a fog last time. Whether that has something to do with anything or not. We'll find out later. Um, and so our party left the sanctuary that they had found uh, to go back into the caverns once more, uh, going out at a different direction than the one they had. They noticed quite a lot of noise being made in the caverns. They couldn't necessarily pinpoint it. Lots of slurping, bubbly sounds, strange smells, uh, uh, and buzzing and clattering. So cautiously, they went ahead until they eventually ended up in what we call the bone room, a huge, expansive pile of bones made up of humanoids of every single sort, uh, tens of thousands of bodies that these Yogash clan ghouls had been devouring on for hundreds of years, potentially. Uh, ever cautious, they decided to throw chunks of flesh in there instead of, you know, going in themselves. And there were a few flies in the bone pile, but what was more interesting was on the opposite end were two large cavernous doors lit with torches. And unable to stop themselves and getting themselves distracted from uh, the continuing trail of trying to find the Scaries, as well as Brother Mateo um, from the Temple of Light, 
they opted to go in and check it out. Our wayward players, <laughs> Riley and uh, Merrick, were distracted uh, 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 outside by something. A, a What did you guys find? Oh, I'll tell you? No, I was I was offering for Merrick to tell us, but yeah, Merrick, tell, tell us. us. Uh, I remember we found something about a tooth. Okay, so you don't remember. So there was a pile of bones. <laughs> <laughs> Riley has all the notes. All yeah, the notes. no, I I wasn't here for it. Just Cal just told us. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so I guess there was a pile of bones, and pile Merrick bones, and and a, Riley found a tooth and a goblin of, skull. And a goblin right. skull. Oh, I didn't have that one. In a goblin skull. Oh, and a goblin skull. Oh, even. And the the tooth is a plus one protection. That's magical. Nice. The only problem is you have to take out your own tooth to and put it in its <laughs> spot for it to work. <laughs> uh, so uh, Merrick and I had a quick discussion <laughs> and uh, Riley decided he had enough notes and, and drawings of the eye patch. So he passes the eye patch on to Merrick as oh. it, the plan. And uh, we, we agree that I keep the tooth then. Are you gonna put it in? Oh yeah, yeah. So that, I have an extra dagger. Yeah. I'm just gonna hold it right here, and then Merrick is gonna take a rock, tap it, and then uh, I'm gonna jab in the new tooth. And Brand will appreciate the statement. At least it's not a Bodak guy. <laughs> That's a whole other That's story. Later, guys. That's, That's whole another story. story. <laughs> Uh, the best part is, is that while that tooth was in a goblin skull, it's not a goblin tooth either. I was oh, wondering about so that. Oh, the goblin took it too. <laughs> I, yeah, wait, I was wondering that if it was a goblin yeah, tooth. How, how big is this, is, this, is this tooth we're talking? Roll a D100. Oh, right. yes. It better be huge. <laughs> what, what do I need to roll for this? It's to be, to be to take that. <laughs> Are you going to be about that big is 64 64 uh it is 64 millimeters he sh- <laughs> can he shut his mouth with it in it so. <laughs> <laughs> it is a tooth from a lizard folk a little fangy it'll probably oh. stick out yeah he's gonna want to eat people now <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, before you hopped on, Bran, <laughs> I heard that there's this library of human pieces. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, since we're getting into that, while those two were busy dealing with a tooth, the other two uh, walked into uh, the white room, uh, so named because everything in that room was covered in bone dust that turned it white. And it is the throne room of the Yogash clan, specifically Porphos Yogash, who uh, was quite callous and generally rude to talk to, is is what I heard from Carol. I don't know why she would think that. She was a dick. Uh, She was absolutely polite and offered you... uh, being polite does not accept you from being peruse dead. her lovely library. To be uh, eat dead people. Made of dead people. Because we can't get information. I, I think Riley wants to become a cool ghoul, actually. I mean, if I get the power to eat people and gain their like the knowledge, memories yeah. and stuff and knowledge, then heck yeah. <laughs> there doesn't seem like there's any downsides. I'm, I was surprised. See, that was the thing I, I was bummed out by because you bucked off was the fact that you weren't there asking her, how do I become a cool? Yeah, I totally I would. Join you. Now that I have this nice tooth oh. to help me rip through flesh. <laughs> it's the perfect opportunity. It's isn't the it? perfect opportunity. <laughs> Maybe that tooth will start you becoming a cool. <laughs> anyway. So more murder. Uh, more murder. More murder. What Let's, murder? This is murder. Me, me to whoever the ghoul is. <laughs> so uh, she speaks to you and she informs you uh, because you confront her about these 
uh, ghoul and ghast killings. She doesn't control gas, but she tells you that uh, the ghouls aren't hers and that they're new foreigner ghouls and that they're not part of the treaty. And as long as uh, they pay homage to her, she doesn't care. Uh, which, of course, uh, aggravated everything and so uh, pushed her to a show of power where she uh, unveils her newest addition to her library, uh, one St. Eve, is that correct, Bran? Mm -hmm. One St. Eve, uh, uh, a former, now former, uh, uh, leader of the Church of the Raven Queen uh, uh, and credited with some quite amazing stuff but had now been reduced to a walking corpse, a zombie. Uh, she was chained inside to be a piece of artwork until Brand decided that killing her would be the best decision there and it probably was however it did end up driving him insane having to murder uh the Actually, no that's not what no what had, what drove him insane was when he turned around and saw her ripping a piece off of her face to eat yep. that was when he went insane i'm blending the two together no, so dude. she turned into a ghoul Oh shit. No, no, she's dead. She's no, I'm, dead. I'm joking. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. That would be amazing though. She's no, already I, dead. I'm joking. She, dead. she was an undead. Mm -hmm. uh, and forced to flee from the room before things got worse. Uh, they did so, <laughs> continuing along the trail quite hurriedly. And then ch -ch 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 change. Oh no, I don't know how the song goes now. I don't well, know. We Stuff was happening to the characters. Uh, insanities. Other I, fun changes. We had a conversation. A good and then we get to the place. Uh, not being quiet, not being stealthy at nope. all. <laughs> Our players walked in to a massive room um, with a large river of sulfuric smelling boiling mud. And across from that river, three ghouls. Uh, if any of you are on Twitter, the picture is posted there, made by our wonderful artist, D. I won't sing her praises enough, but I might try. D is awesome. We spent some time working on this. And uh, let me just say, we all need a little D in our lives. All right. She's a big, big help, that D is. Yeah. Really gets awesome you over the hump. Uh, and some awesome artwork. And so you see three ghouls, two fairly large ones, a very small one in the back, and then finally a fourth ghoul. This one slightly larger than the rest with a crown of what looks like uh, hyperdontia teeth poking out and around its skull. If you take a look, that's the ghoul in the, or the ghast. Wait, yeah, I was going to say, they aren't ghouls, right? They are not ghouls. These are ghasts. And if you want a picture of hyperdontia to scare you, that's what that looks like. Oh. Uh, we'll change that picture now because it's creeping me out just having that <laughs> wet background behind me and I, I don't want it there anymore. So are you saying this dude has a bunch of plus one protection tooth teeth? <laughs> yeah. Is, and are you saying I can get more? Yes. <laughs> That's yes. Right. They don't. Yes. Stack, though. You, yeah. If you get the crown, we'll talk. All right. Uh, Motivation. Perhaps as terrifying as that is, though, behind those ghouls stands what looks like a worked temple covered in eyeballs many of them blank shining white iridescent some of them with irises and uh gosh do i have anything more to say this large ghoul 
aghast, looks at you and lets out this monstrous roar that shakes the ground. Rocks actually come down from the ceiling and land on the ground. And everything shakes until it goes black. The screen comes in again, and this time we're filled with a very verdant image of a jungle and the roar of what sounds like a big cat. And we see this little halfling, just so jerking up for a second from what looks like to be a a large amount of papers. And he is scribbling notes here, taking notes there. If he sees like this landmark, there's this huge tree and you see as he starts clawing on that and we come to see Merrick Mistmeadow dressed a little bit more uptight than what the mess metal we see today is. Um, dialogue on the screen below says three months ago. And he's got the Arul Katan patch on there, although it's very worn. There's dirt on his knees and he's got a large backpack on. And we see as he kind of makes his way through the jungles of Farzeen and the camera changes angles again and we see him come out. He's standing on top of this, uh, uh, on the volcanic range there. And you see he's drawing down, trying maps, pulling out his hand, making little measurements. This is where you don't want to be on the audio only podcast. <laughs> Pulls out an astrolab in the dark. And it's the scene in the dark where he's checking up the stars. And we see jot down his notes and there's lights in the distance that catches his eye and he starts following it these bouncing lights in the jungle they're not necessarily going anywhere but they are circling around like they're dancing and we just see him continue to walk in dropping his writing utensil something that no good map maker ever would do. So that tells you a little bit more about Merrick. And as he gets closer and closer, we see this tree with bulbs hanging on it. These little iridescent pearl orbs that are glowing. They're dancing around this tree. And he starts getting drawn into it. Eyes shining, starting to turn pale white themselves. And he's getting closer and closer. The scene is quiet, and then instantly sound rushes back in again as we hear voices screaming, run away, run away, and we see small hands about the size of Merrick grab onto his coat and yank him back as immediately one of these pearl orbs from the tree slams down into the ground, dirt flying up into the air. We've got to go, we got to go. And without hesitation, they both flee from the scene as this tree turns dark. The pearl white starts to turn more of a green and a yellow as it contains as long, agitated clearly. The scene cuts away and we're at a village in a jungle. Three, four huts. And we see this little girl that had saved Merrick bringing him in to her home to let him rest there in safety from the jungle. And we see a conversation over a meal. Uh, looks like baby boar, because these people aren't awful and they kill the babies before they kill the mother and then let the babies slowly starve to death. You know, like good people. Uh, and they're chatting and they're talking. As they're talking, we see Merrick writing down notes, data on locations, points. You see him draw this tree into his book, you know, the lantern tree, writing notes upon that. And the scene fades away again. And we come back in the morning and we see 
Merrick once again strolling off into the jungle. The village people waving at him behind him, as well as what looks like he's been freshly resupplied. And I go, if you approach any trouble, be sure to turn back and come. We'll help you as we have. And he goes off into the jungle. The children start playing with each other and they go running out into the jungle. The day just zips on by. We see the sun just kind of going over the sky. And it suddenly turns almost into dusk. Dusk gone? Which one is the evening? Late dusk. evening. The sun dusk. is going down. Dusk. dusk. And the little girl is playing with some of the other village children at the air. And there's a rustling behind her from the direction of where Merrick came. She turns around. I knew you wouldn't be able to make it without me. And there's this rustling of bushes. And from out of the bushes going up six foot, seven, eight, at a full 10 feet tall, no eyes, just this dark shadow, this large crown above its head, silent. The girl starts to back away. And as the camera kind of backs away with her, we see more figures rising out eight feet tall, nine feet tall, seven feet tall, no eyes, and then smaller figures among them with yellow eyes beginning to glow. And we see arrows launching, piercing the girl in the shoulder. She turns to run, but behind her, her village is already a bloodbath and the campfires burn out and everything goes black and we find ourselves back in this cavern let's roll initiative I got that tooth in, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You didn't say you installed it yet. Oh, I definitely said I installed it. Did yeah, you he did. Upper, okay. upper or lower jaw? I, I decided upper. upper. <laughs> All right. That'd Initiative 19 plus 4. 23. 23 for Riley. Yeah. 16. 16 for Merrick. <laughs> your NPC is here. Your assistant GM. So cute. All right, Anja. Nine. You're... Nine. And Bran. One moment. He's trying to figure out what his initiative is now that he's level five, Kyle. Uh, he is not level five. <laughs> uh, 17. 17. Okay, nice. Bran. Okay. Let's see what I'm adding here. Brand, what is your uh, bonus to uh, initiative? Three. Three? Ah. Oh. All right. And so with that, Riley, you are the first one to react. Yeah. 
Um, so did just one of the creatures spot us, the one with the crown? And that's when we blacked out. Where where are we at, actually? Let's start there. Let's start we blacked there. out. What happened? Where are we at? You have walked into this room. You are actually behind. You and Merrick are behind uh, Bran and Anja as they were in quite a big of a rush. Bran did not put out his uh, lantern. And so he's been this nice, big, bright spotlight bouncing around. And so he walked in and everyone turned to look at him. And uh, yeah, looks like your fight was about to start. Um, okay, so what is the layout of the enemies? Uh, such as like who's behind who, like what's their general position? Okay. On top of this staircase, you have, I'm going to now refer to him as Bucky. Thank you, D. Uh, he is the one with the large antlers. He is standing okay. atop uh, uh, the stairs that lead to the doors of this temple. These two large ones uh, kind of flank either side, but are in front. Um, this last one is small, nimbly, and it's on the far side of the room. There is a large boiling, not boiling, but bubbling sulfuric mud river between all of you. Uh, and you're probably, if you want to jump across the river, it's going to be an athletics check, but a fairly easy one to make. You don't want to land in the river, by the way. Um, but it would probably take you a uh, medium distance. So think 60 feet away. Uh, so the enemies are 60 feet or the river is? The enemies. Okay, so that's not bad. Uh, cool. And the, the small spindly one, where, where was that in comparison to the trio that were up on the stairs? He's kind of far in the distance and he is trying to make himself uh, uh, less visible. Kind of small. He's sneaking to the side. However, all of you guys have... Ooh, Max and the Tagalong Moon. Oh, don't read it. oh, well, then go to bed and someone will read it there. Uh, it you guys have a great passive perception and he's not getting away with it unfortunately the bright light kind of shone a light directly on him oh got it so they spot him too yes you spot him oh this cool. is a ghast so here's here's are they all gassed or just that small spindly they're one? all gas they're all gassed oh cool 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 so here's what i'm gonna do um my crown of madness has a range of 120 feet um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to cast Crown of Madness on one of the, the two that are up there guarding the dude. Okay. It's a Wisdom 15 save. A Wisdom and 15. And one humanoid of my choice, which is one of the guard dudes who I'm guessing based on where he's standing, that you can see within range must succeed on a Wisdom saving throw or become charmed for by you for the duration, which is concentration up to one minute. Mm -hmm. While target is charmed in this way, a twisted crown of jagged iron appears on its head and a madness glows in its eyes. The charm target must use its action before moving on each of its turns to make a melee attack against a creature other than itself that I mentally choose. The target can act normally on its turn if you choose. No creature, if none are within its reach. And I can keep doing that on subsequent turns until the spell ends. And also, the creature can make another wisdom save at the end of each of its successive turns on its okay. success spell ends. So a lot to it, but yeah, I want I want to try and cast on this guard, wisdom fifteen, and I'm immediately want him to attack the dude behind him with the the, the crown. Roll me a charisma check. Charisma. Charisma. That should be really good for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, I only rolled at eleven, so it's sixteen. Sixteen. That is enough. Okay. What do you want me to roll? It's a uh, DC 15 wisdom. Okay. Plus three to wisdom here. I rolled a 15 on the die. Oh. So I assume they know I tried to cast a spell at it since it's like a charm type spell. Yeah. And it's, it has a verbal component, mm -hmm. even if I am 60 feet away. Um, yeah. No, you guys are not hidden at this point. So Yeah. Just like... Hoodoo hoodoo, and then all of a sudden, 
nothing happened. Cool. Um, Shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was my action. I guess I, I can't cast um, Eldritch Blast as a bonus since that failed. Can I? Uh, do you have something that allows you to cast Eldritch Blast as a bonus? Uh, oh, it is one, one action. Shit. What do I have as a bonus? How? Ooh, I don't want to... Oh, man. <laughs> The only thing I have a bonus is Misty Step, and I'm not going to Misty Step closer. Come on! Come on, man! Come on, man! We're just such a venture. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess uh, I'd like well, to after that, suicide. I'm going to stay where I'm standing behind Bran and Anja. That's, that's very fair. That's, that's the end of my turn. All right. Uh, so one of the, uh, the ghoul that you actually tried to put this crown on runs and leaps over leaps over the river barely <laughs> <laughs> oh we get to jump over that river it slips a little bit some rocks coming there and it continues running up and it gets right up to bran and towers over you Ugh. at which point the uh, creature once again on top of the stairwell lets out this huge bellow and the other uh, two gas also start running in your direction at that point uh, but not quite up to where you guys are you still have some even though space the... between you oh sorry um, I thought you're done even the little small spindly one that was spying it's running at us it begins charging at you yes okay uh so jumping over the river. <laughs> the small spindly one does not make it across the river. And honestly, I wasn't expecting anything to fail that check. Um, so it does that. Um, and that is the end of the big one's turn. I will figure out what I'm doing to that little one here. I should have had that rolled up. Uh, but Bran, you are now up. So there's a large ghast in front of me, correct? There is a large ghast in front of you. Where are the other ones? Uh, they're running up behind it, except for the one on the staircase where it has kind of paced forward uh, as on the opposite side of this mud river. <clears throat> um, I will. Hmm, what do I want to do this? Uh, by the way, the small spindly one takes forty-six worth of fire damage. Uh, Kyle, please please look at the chat. There's an image representing the small spindly one. Oh my goodness. Oh, but go ahead, Brant. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm going to try to be a little gutsy here. I will attempt to trip the big one down with my uh, attack. I believe... I believe that's just an athletics check, correct? It is an athletics check. All right, let's see how this goes. That's not going to do crap. I have a seven. Yeah, I got a three. Oh, yeah, no, you don't do it. Oh, man, that would have been way better. <laughs> uh, actually, I have a question for you. Yes. Uh, have you passed out inspiration? Because I apparently have an inspiration on yeah, you have an inspiration on. Then I'd like to reroll. Yeah, you can do that. Did we get inspiration points? I must have used mine. That's I why I was asking, because I don't recall, but it, I think it's been there for a while. Yeah, I think you've had the inspiration there for a <laughs> while. Uh, it's good for a reroll, or it's good for changing something story-wise if you want it to... Uh, I got a seven total. Guys. Seven you total? can it out more often. <laughs> I think you used mine way at the beginning. You guys uh, just need to be better about your role playing, guys. I, I reward all the good stuff. Uh, I forget if attacker wins on something like that or not. 
Uh, let's find out. We will go ahead and it trips, falls prone as you just kind of hit a spare point in the knee and it just kind of... Mm, yeah, I wanted to give uh, Aja advantage to just wail on this thing. Um, for bonus action, I will step around it. For move action, kind of get between <laughs> me or try to get between it and the other two. And then I will spend a Kai point to dodge, giving all attacks disadvantage. Okay. Uh, I have uh, bad news for you uh -oh. because now this creature, knocked down to its knees, stands back up again ah. and starts swinging away. Let's see. Good one targets. At Anja, one at Bran, I think. And so, That's okay. fair. Well, disadvantage on me. First one at Anja, 16 to hit. You miss. I hate you. And the one that's really close. going to hit uh, at disadvantage. That misses. All right, Merrick, you can go. <laughs> okay. so Merrick, gonna... yeah, you're kind of bringing up the rear. There's this big monstrosity that was knocked to the ground but stands back up. It's stuck between uh, Bran and Anja right now. The other one that's about the same size of it is um, still a good distance away. You could run up and stab it if you like. Um, and the tiny one is burning in a river. Um, see, I think I'm tiny. I can stand in the same... I can stand within five feet on the same square as someone else, right? So I, yeah, I, I can so. get up clo close to the other one. Mm -hmm. It's enough room well. around it. It's enough room around everything, anyways. You have enough room to get around it. Okay. Uh, next to yeah. it. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna attack that one with my dual swords, okay. and since he's close enough to everyone else, I should be able to do a sneak attack with it. Yep. That's right. That's a mess. <laughs> That's what you roll. Uh, six. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely a miss. I don't know why would you even tell me that roll, Jay. I, I <laughs> Did you say you had you were attacking with two weapons though? He's an yeah. honest person. I think that does, uh, deserves some inspiration. You get it. <laughs> inspiration. I was gonna say, wait, but don't he you? He has guys... been the butt of a few jokes, to be honest. But I think you get a second attack, right? Yeah, if you are sword in each hand, you get yeah, another think... attack if you want. It's Do you have to rehide though? It's a bonus action. No, that's so, just uh, I'm next to him, so he gets sneak attack yeah. on him. He, yeah, yeah. That, that's for the sneak attack for the two handed weapon. I just make a bonus action. No, no, no. Uh, sneak attack works on whatever hits first. Yep. Okay, yeah, so, so I just, I that's the fifth edition thing. Oh, nice. That's, okay. I get similar to that actually. Um, so 18 to hit. 18 will hit. Yeah. Yeah, so you get to apply uh, sneak attack bonus. Sneak attack. If you don't have, I think it's too open fighting, then I don't think you apply bonus damage, but I'm unsure um, about that. Now without uh, the feet, I don't think. Uh, yeah, wait, let me read. I, Essentially, have I, I, I don't think dice. you get your yeah, yeah bonus, yeah. but you still get proficiency? Mm -hmm. Well, okay. that, no, not proficiency to damage, just no. to hit. Oh. Uh, basically, it'd be weapon attack and sneak attack. I believe. It. So that's eight, eight damage. Eight damage total. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you just sneak in behind, miss, but that second one just takes a little flesh off there. Uh, and now we go to the bottom of the list. Almost, Anja. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make. I'm going to use my bonus action to put a, what's it called? Slayer's Prey on this thing. You don't have to. Which basically is like a sneak attack almost. And I'm going to make it two attacks and probably fail. Oh, well, maybe not. Um, what is my plus? My plus is six. Uh, thank God exhaustion doesn't uh, dock me on um, attack rolls. Isn't that great? 
Uh, so that would be a 18 and a 17. Both of those will hit. Yeah. So sure. Slayer's Prey gives me a D6. Was that what it was? Yes. I got extra D6 of damage. I need, th- so that's 3D6. Can you make two attacks if you use a bonus action to take the Slayer's action? Oh, wait, that's right. No, no, no. So the first one hits. All right, so doesn't matter. But it'll be on there. That's right. So it's just one. Uh, that was a shit roll, though. That <laughs> That's only seven points of damage because I rolled a one and a two on the 2D6. Suck. How much again? Uh, Where they say seven points of damage because that was a really sucky roll. <laughs> Yeah, it was you. You I rolled, suck. I you? rolled a one and a two. <laughs> My two All right. But now, hey. actually, at the bottom of the pile is our scrawny little guy who's He's in blind. a mud flat. Natural 20. He pulls himself out. Good thing he used the 20 on that roll. <laughs> Absolutely. That's that's the one I was saving it for. Yeah. <laughs> so it just crawls out, yipping in pain. Uh, and that is its full action this turn. Uh, starting back up at Riley. Um, yeah, so there's one on the ground. There's one crawling, half burnt. There is another one somewhere. Coming up right behind Bran. And it's oh, coming not up the- right no, behind Bran. In front of Bran. And one- behind the big one. Wait, and there's, there's no, and the one that was on the ground isn't on the ground. He got up. Oh, yeah, he got back up. Yeah, so he's up. Swung, missed. Okay. The um, nearest two are the two big guys, uh, uh, one of which is surrounded by your entire party. The other one is coming up behind them or in front of them, depending on which way you're facing. Um, the one with the antlers, Bucky, is actually just kind of pacing and back and forth across the river. And the other one literally just drug itself out of the burning river. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about the one that drug itself out of the burning river right now. So I'm going to Eldridge Blast the one that stood up and attacked Anja. Yeah. Okay. And, and Bran. Uh, and that Ignore is going to be uh, 25 to hit. And uh, two damage. <laughs> God. Uh, Dice poop. <laughs> when I get to level five, that's 2d10. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. That it's still is so a terrible. magic begins happening. Then I, a, yeah, then I could still do two damage, but it's half it's, as likely. That's crappy roll. My okay. damage rolls are suck. The one between um Anja, Merrick, and Bran starts swinging again. I think this time we're going to go after Merrick first. Oh. With an 18 on the die, 22 to hit you. And that is going to be six piercing damage as it bends down to bite at you. And Anja, we just we just want to take you out. Uh, and that's going to be a 19 to hit. Ah, oh, you did that time. Yeah, yep, yep, dude. Yep. You did that time. That one is, oh, do I have enough die to actually do this? I don't know. Oh, you got to oh, get oh, through no. 39 hit points. Uh, I think 11 is going to be a good start, though, yeah? 11 is a third-ish. Yeah, so we only have to hit you a couple more times. Uh, what's worse about the situation, though, is now the big one, Bucky, leaps over this river and charges directly at Bran. No. And this it is lowers though. its head down, and these horns catch on a staglomite. A stalactite? Kind of a stalagmite? Stalagmite is what I said? Mm-hmm. You said yeah. stalagmite. <laughs> like, stalagmite. I'm covering all my bases. <laughs> Fantasy world, new thing. That's exactly. right. That's right. What do it I say? grows sideways out of the mm-hmm. wall. It's crazy. <laughs> Blank. Uh, it runs into the stalagmite, clipping a horn and breaks through, but it slows down the charge enough that you're able to dodge it. Uh, mm. And Bran, you are up. <laughs> just to make my life fun 
Uh, I will attack the one that's being attacked. Okay. Focus damage. Uh, with unarmed strike. Uh, I'm assuming a 10 will miss. A 10 will miss. <coughs> like a loser. Uh, given my situation, I will spend another Kai point to dodge. That is a great, great thing right now. It's working. That's fine. That's fine because the other big brute comes in and it starts swinging at you, Bran, seeing that you're surrounded. And that is a natural 20 oh, and a 6. <laughs> yes. And does Wait a, a 15 hit Bran? It does not. I love it. Okay. Dodge is pulling, I'm pulling monk stuff. Dope bunch. You are shit. literally just dipping, diving as they're swinging and trying to snatch at you, kind of bumbling, getting in the way a little bit. There's one point where the big one tries to take a bite out of you, gets in the way of Bucky, and Bucky just shoves it out of the way, uh, uh, making it miss. Um, I fucking hate you, Bran. Dodge and abilities. Uh, Merrick, you are up. I'm trying to let the others do their magic. Yeah. Yeah, right now. Uh, um, Way to be a tank, Bran. Yeah, it doesn't last that long. It's just like a Rogan Wow. It only lasts for like 10, 20 seconds. Yeah. But still, it's been clutch. Dodge has been clutch. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, Merrick, you're up. Um, Bran is currently surrounded, but holding his own among these three things. Uh, you and Anja have this one big brute uh, uh, between the two of you. What would you like to do? I'm just going to keep swinging with my swords. So, All right. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. uh, 18 to hit. Yeah. 18 will hit. So the first one will have a sneak attack. Mm-hmm. So, uh, 18 damage. Nice. First attack. I don't believe it. All right. Second one. Uh, second one is only one d6. No, no. Well, did you hit? Oh, right. <laughs> don't worry suppose, about that stuff. I suppose. <laughs> <It's not important. laughs> don't worry about that part. Roll it down uh, 20. I mean, that's seven, just... 17 to hit on that yeah. one. 17 will hit as well. Okay. Uh, one damage, though. One damage. Ding! All right. Wait, you you this... have just about nearly cut this thing down. Uh, Anja, it's All right. amazing what this tiny guy can do. Oh, that thing. I said that figure. So I'm going to finish it and then I'm going to have to spend the bonus action to change my target. All right. So, but I'll make a roll. Maybe it'll, knowing my luck, it'll probably miss. Yeah. That's what we're hoping. Um, that may miss, actually. I get two attacks. Uh, 13. 13 misses. All right, hang on. I get a second attack. That's not going to miss. That's a 21. That also misses. That's actually above its AC. You're target. fucking bullshit. So, <laughs> oh, I do much better damage. So that's eight plus four is 12 points. So that's better. 12 points? Yeah. Uh, with an X marks the spot, Merrick shows you where to hit, and <laughs> you run this thing through, oh. and, and then it I, falls dead. And then I'm going to go next to the uh, Bucky. If I, uh, maybe, uh, do I even have to move? A little bit, yes. Okay, so I'll move to be next to Bucky. Okay, you do that. Uh, and that leads, ah, the scrawny one at the bottom there. And he is going to get up and start charging. And he's going to take a swing at Riley. Oh, how rude. How rude indeed. Does an 11 hit Riley? No, not with this tooth. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah, that guarantees it. No, no, if he had no armor. No, we call him Scrabble Tooth. Yeah, no I would be at AC decks. 17. 
No, no decks, no other bonuses. Yeah, no I decks. get decks yeah, naturally. So if I was naked, I would have AC 17. Right, exactly. With this tooth, I am now 18. <laughs> now, I'm literally saying the only way... No, all I'm saying is the only way he can actually hit you with the, with that tooth. You know, it, it, you'd have to literally have no bonuses and just the tooth. Seven AC of 11. All right, That's Riley, can do. you are up. The school, not or this gas, not much bigger than you, just comes swinging at you. What do you do? Uh, so it's too it. close for Eldridge Blast, isn't it? Hmm. It might hurt. I don't know. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it with my choo 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 choo. Let's do a dagger. Oh, hey, look at that, nat twenty. Oh. All right, roll the damage. Fuck you, dude. Nine damage. All right, awesome. With my little dagger. You did better with your dagger than with Eldritch Blast. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Nat 20s it's, do that. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait till you can do more with Eldritch Blast, actually. Oh, you slice through a few fingers. Uh, and this thing is just in an absolute hell right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, which takes us down to... Okay. The big one starts swinging at you again, Bran. I do think that a natural 20 and a 19, I think I got you this time. At least it's not a nat 20. Eh, shut up. Yeah, that's that's, that's <laughs> awesome. Uh, so that is four piercing damage as one of its teeth catches you. And that is, oh, I might get you twice. Natural 19 and a 14 on the die, so 18 to hit. 18 will hit. Yes! I'm going to kill you! Nay. <laughs> Throw him into the river. <laughs> that was already damaged from last time. Ten slashing damage. You okay yeah. over there? I'm over one third down. I'm only at one third. Okay. Oh, you're at one third. Wow. Yes. So you might need some help. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I mean, I, said, then... I, I can help. <laughs> Leads us to keep, Bucky. Keep killing things. Okay. Who turns and swings at you, Anja. First biting at you with a big fat four on the die. That's. However, that 20 that comes after that, not a natural, uh, I'm sure will hit you. Uh, yeah, the 20 will hit. And obviously, unless the four has a modifier of 13, it won't hit. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Uh, and that is going to be eight piercing. Or oh no, I missed the first one. I got you on the second one. So hold on, sorry, that's the wrong dies there. Okay, I've been taking uh, it off. Yet. Oh gosh, uh, that's going to be nine points of damage. The same amount I rolled earlier. So the okay, okay, uh, and that brings us to Merrick. You managed to to kill one of these guys. There's a big brute. There is Bucky with his huge antlers behind you. You just hear wailing uh, and a quick peek as this scrawny little guy going after Merrick. What? I think you might have skipped me. Did you skip him? Did I skip? Um, Yes, I did. I skipped Bran. Bran, you are up. You did. I'm glad Jacob knows what's going on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Does that... Okay, uh, never yeah, mind. that gets an inspiration you... to Merrick. Uh, enjoy that. All right. You counted uh, that Bran also dodged this last turn as well, even though... Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, no, but he rolled He rolled disadvantage on each. Yeah. Yeah, oh, he rolled okay. a 19. He rolled a 20 and a 19. That's why I didn't get critted. Know? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways... Oh, uh, no I see, because I would have gone before him. I got you. Yep. Uh, well, unfortunately, he skipped me, so too bad for him. It is what it is. <laughs> uh, I will attack. I think Branch uh, has the inspiration, too. I'll attack Crown Boy. Since Which he's one? both a good Crown Boy. Bucky. Oh, Bucky. Bucky. Uh, let's see if I can hit him. My dice was have not been great. And they continue not being great. Oh. Not one. Damn it. Yeah, uh, you suck. 
I got a Fury of Blows, and one of my Fury of Blows will be to heal myself. Okay. Uh, you hit, stop see. hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Have you ever watched uh, God of High School? Sorry, we, weird tangent, but no. he, he learns this weird like acupuncture technique, so he just like does this like super fast movement of his hands to hit his pressure points. <laughs> That's cool. That's yeah. a, that'd be a cool concept. That's how I, I imagine the flurry of blows to heal yourself. Jesus. Uh, 13 will probably miss, so, yeah. 13 misses. Mm. All right, I'm out of Kai points, so I'm, I'm fair game to kill. Yes! Damn it! Right. Now, Merrick, it is your turn. Big brute, bucky, scrawny guy behind you attacking uh, Riley. What would you like to do? Um... See, Bran, you just attacked Bucky. Is the big brute still attacking Bran? Or... Yes, there's still okay. a big brute attacking Bran. All right, I'm going to attack the big brute then. With okay. Swords. 25 to hit. 25 will hit. And here. It's the same. Um... Eleven, twelve, plus four. 16. Yep, that, that'll do damage. That, that did some damage. <laughs> and then my second board for 14 to hit. 14 misses. Okay. Slice, That's slice, nice. miss. Uh, Anja, you are up. All right, well, that's right. I got to use a bonus action to Slayer's Prey, the big guy. And and use that die. All right. Well, it doesn't matter. Use that die. That's a sixteen. Sixteen hits. Oh, thank God. Are you aiming for Bucky or Bucky? Okay. Yeah, I put Slayer, Slayer's Prey on Bucky, and I'm aiming for because I went. Oh, Jesus Christ! It's the same fucking one and two. So that's seven points of damage. Hey, hey! You know it's the. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. <laughs> Kill all of you people. All right. And that leads us with little scrawny. Uh, Riley, I'm going to take you out this turn, whether you like it or not. He's missing fingers. Remember, did he drop his weapon? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> He's probably clawing or something. Oh my his hand falls off. Yeah. I rolled a five and a nat one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, well, as I said, he is absolutely miserable. Do right I get here. advantage this turn? <laughs> just because he's so beat up, and then the nat one, and just just for fun, can I put him out of his misery? Well, he's really trying. <laughs> <laughs> you almost get admire that scrawny little mm-hmm. one. You almost get admire him. Yeah, admire his dead so body later. Grapple like, him and throw him in the river. <laughs> Pick him up while he's wiggling. Sure, why not? Yeah. That's a plan. It might I don't be think fun. we should adopt him. Though. Bull rush him into the room. Oh, should we, should we like tie him up? Put him in a little gimp suit or something? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll turn on like little baby Groot and I'll just like kill everybody. <laughs> you know, I was thinking. You watch the little scrawny guy would be the most powerful one out of all of them. Well, then we'll put him on a leash and put him out front. <laughs> Jesus. But he's not. So, all right, uh, Riley, you are up. Okay, dagger time. <laughs> is that like hammer time? It is, except uh, hopefully it ends up being all right. Touch this. Net one. He grabs it his teeth. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anything else, Riley? Um <laughs> to that big slap bite. It was great. No, I mean that that was uh that was great. I was probably I don't even know how Riley reacted to that to get a nat one. 
Maybe he was just confused when the the small spindly one tripped or something. <laughs> yeah, sure. With that previous well, one. Well, that's it. That, that, he went in like uh, the small spindly went in to hit you, but he tripped. And then when you aimed, you aimed where you thought he was going to be, and he wasn't there. And so nah, he said, I, <laughs> nah. I'm going to say that my dagger got caught on my tablet or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. And D- D- and David said, yep, he can't touch that. No. Nope. <laughs> You Just the two like small frail ones are attacking each other at the back. Don't worry. You guys <laughs> handle Bucky. You didn't touch this. Whose turn is it now? It big is guy? Big Guy's turn, and big he guy. takes a bite at Bran because he's closer to the mouth. Uh does a 15 does not hit, does it? It does not. Uh, yes. And it claws <laughs> at Merrick. And for one, <laughs> I thought our dice was only bad ones. They uh, all they take their and that thing's over. <laughs> he gently caresses my cheek. I, I'm just picturing like all everyone like tripping over each other. Like a what, what, combat what, is messy. What what is that? Not not what is that? Oh skit my god! That this... used to be popular back like many decades ago. I don't know. I mean, when I was like a kid, Where you'd see him run in one door, run out the other, and just oh, tripping and falling. Like Scooby Doo. Well, that, kind of Scooby Doo. That's yeah. still a, that's still a thing. You get the you get the hallway the hallway. It's not yeah, a fight. I but feel the like there was a, a famous like British TV show where that oh, was popularized. That stick has Anyhow. been in a bunch Anyhow. of yeah 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 exactly. That, that stick has been in a lot of different things. Yeah, but originated in <laughs> I don't particular thing. Uh, Benny Hill, you're so Benny Hill. Yeah, I love I'm, you. I'm thinking. By I'm the imagining way, Benny Hill right now. Up, By the way, that would be the theme music of this fight right now. Yeah, well, all the net ones and tripping and like we started off literally with a trip, and then it just continued. One that right. failed his jump over the river. Like we're all we're all somewhat around. Oh my god! So oh my god! It's our <laughs> dice. Right. I mean, we all our dice all. Hate it's us. the sulfuric fumes coming off this river. It's not really helping. Making <laughs> everyone high. Yeah, yeah man. I was thinking uh, I got the vapors, but yeah. <laughs> well, you do, technically. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Bucky uh, uh, lets out another bellowing roar, yeah. and I will need Merrick, Big Guy, Bran, and Anja to make constitution saving throws. Oh, I'm afraid of this. Hey, I probably made it. How about that? that? 20 on my save. Oh, you did better than me. I rolled a 19, a dirty 19 on mine. That makes it uh, Merrick. (coughs) Constitution saving throw. Multiplier, or uh, what was this bet? No. Uh, 10? 10? All right. You fail. You take nine points of thunder damage. As your ears just kind of trick out a little bit of blood, and the cavern around you actually has rocks start to shake loose from this bellow. And we go to Bran, who is next, and not Mary. Um, go in here. Uh, I will attack the big one, not Bucky this time, since I know he's pretty well damaged. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can do something. I'm just going to go one arm strike. Okay. <sighs> Seven to hit. No, it's going to fail. No, no. Uh, bonus action. Try to hit him again. <laughs> and that's a seven to 12 that I'll miss his cheese. Yeah. Oh, uh, right. yeah. Merrick, go for it. Bran has completely become ineffectual. Poor Bran. Okay. Well, I guess I'll try to I'll try to finish it off then. Do it. I got a natural one. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I was totally sure joking with the, the, the to end. message, by the way, before I <laughs> say what you wrote, uh, Riley. For those of you who are, have not seen or have not listened, Ernie types in the message. You roll a nat one, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> and it pops up. So, uh, 
getting that one on my side. <laughs> Goodbye, Jake. Bye. Sorry, Bye. Jake. It was nice uh, playing with you. Good. It's all over. Can I, can uh, I take that back with the JK? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that, that makes it all better. I yeah, it's all, all better now. I think we all know. We all know it was a joke. Right. It was a very well timed joke. <laughs> of course, with the way we're rolling, the chances are that it was going to happen. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, can you I get still a bonus use my... attack? Don't you? Yeah, yeah I still bonus use my, 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 my second. Sorry. All right, redeem yourself. No. Come on, man. I got a ten. Nah. My <laughs> miss is right. still up to wreck havoc. Anja, you are up. All right, first attack. I'll do. I'll do one at a time. Uh, that probably hits. Let's see. Do it, Andre, please. I'm trying, man. Eighteen does hit. We are going for Bucky. I'm going for Bucky. Okay. Because I still have the thing on him. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. All right, so twelve points of damage. Okay. Still up. Still up. Okay. Oh, uh, no, Bucky is pretty much fine, guys. That's another, uh, actually, no, sorry. It was 16, not 18, but I think 16 hits. 16 will hit. Okay, so 16 hits in the second one. And, oh, Jesus, one. So five more points of damage. Oh, so oh. that was 12, so 17 total. Bucky is looking great. It's fine, guys. Don't worry. About <laughs> He's got all those teeth of protection. Yeah. <laughs> Just hit a few of those teeth. Their molars, incisors are falling off of his crown. What's worse, though, is that new ones are slowly kind of growing in its place. It's a horrific thing. So, okay. So can I get matching teeth then? Just so <laughs> that one you tooth doesn't stand out so much. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad that knocking off tooth, of you until they match. You know, it's too bad that tooth I blame the, tur- I blame the tooth for all the net ones and stuff. I think it's yeah, cursed. That's what it is. <laughs> if it is cursed, I'm still not getting rid of it. <laughs> of course not well Riley well, wouldn't even want to god I thought I liked when bad shit happened to my characters scrawny comes after you Riley a 17 no AC 18 with the tooth yeah! Tooth! I hate your tooth I take back the tooth <laughs> and I miss with the other one <laughs> Riley you're up oh, oh my lord yes. Put this so thing out of its misery. Am I the only one that gets one attack per turn? All right. Let's do this. Nat 20. Well, I'm, I'm using okay. bonus action. Actually, Riley, if you're attacking with a knife, you can always use a bonus action to attack again. You just don't add yeah, no. Uh, no, extra actually, damage. Are Riley, you serious? No. Like yeah. me, I could have been attacking twice this entire yes. time. I could have been yeah. attacking twice. All right, yes. Cool. Well, whatever. Because I just That's rolled like two ones anything. plus four, so I get six damage on that crit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> six <laughs> damage on a crit. <laughs> Uh, how would you like to put Sc- yeah! Is Scrawny dead? Scrawny's dead. Just, just knife him in the throat. Wait, I mean he's Mercy dead. Kill him. He's dead. You killed he's, him. He's dead. Yeah. Congratulations. You now I'm him. in my victory. I'm going to pick him up over my head, scream, and <laughs> chuck him into the river. <laughs> like a- Can I do that with my bonus action and, and movement? <laughs> Like this has just been this pathetic slap fight, and you come <laughs> so and happy to be done with, with the it. dagger, and you shove him off the bridge, <clears throat> and stumbles back into the river, and sinks into this burning mud. Oh, it's just like God. You realize he's gonna get up like Jason. He's gonna rise, and he's gonna be like the nemesis of the party. He's gonna be the new Bucky. Yeah. Hey, yeah. He, hey, uh, hey just, Kyle. We'll, we'll give him yes. a hockey mask. This, is, suggest- no, this is a suggestion from chat. Yes. We need to now have the adventures of Bucky and Moxie because they it commented that the uh, little guy has Moxie. So it's the, the adventures. little guy did have Moxie. So we he have did. to have now the adventures of Bucky and Moxie in the next campaign. These guys are going to live to fight another day, obviously. That Just was make really... sure you dump Bucky's body into the river along with Moxie. <laughs> They'll float away. We don't know. Oh no, no, I know what it is. It's the it's the it's the it's the life before they turned into gas. It's a Goliath <laughs> and a halfling adventuring. <laughs> that would have been okay. so perfect. There you go, David. You're welcome. <coughs> I will say, whenever I, my NPCs roll that bad in a fight, I like to roll a a, a wisdom saving throw to see if they run away. 
he rolled a net 20. He was going down swinging. <laughs> and he went down swinging. And he did. Yeah, I'm gonna And then rolling. And I then kind floating. of admire him. I can't help it. All right, whose turn is it? I didn't even loot him. <laughs> that, I, I don't admire him. I was dead. with that kill. Oh, where, where are we in this? You're lucky I didn't. We are part. at the big brutes. Uh, uh, wait a is... minute. After well, Riley. Went first. Yeah. And it's the two. Okay. So uh, a nine and a 12 does not hit you, Merrick, does it? Uh, no. No. Okay. And then for our big guy, he starts swinging at you guys again. Who is this? Uh, my at? highest is 18 uh, at Bran. Yeah, that'll hit. Okay. That is. That is 10 points of slashing damage. Mm-hmm. And now we are at you, Bran. Uh, I will try to strike him. Uh, Bucky or the brute? Brute. Okay. Uh, 21 to hit. I finally hit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now show I know, us that big Bran. monk damage. What you rolling? Four damage. Four, Four damage. Damage, nice. Yep, yeah, and then I will bonus Something. action try to attack him again. All right. Uh, eighteen. That'll hit. Or no strength extra, so one point of damage. One point of damage. All right. All right, and that leads us to Merrick. Uh, is it just Bucky now? Uh, it is still that big brute that uh, you and uh. Bran have been working towards. Uh, Bucky is still swinging away at Anja and Bran. But the slap fight behind you is over. So, you know, you don't have that distracting you now. So no yeah. more at once. Yeah. Okay. No more Brand, slapping around. Bran, did you just attack the brute, the big one? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I did. Just finish him, please, dear lord. <laughs> All right. I'll the Raven Queen, finish him. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Swing. Come on, Merrick. Uh, there's a six hit. Sorry, eight. Eight. Oh, eight. 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 <laughs> uh, actually, let me. Uh, uh, no. no <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll try for my bonus action. <coughs> How about an eighteen? Eighteen will hit. Okay. Get sneak yeah. attack. Yep, I'm definitely sneak attack. You don't have to if you don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, nine. Nine. All right. He is looking rough. And that leads us to Anja. Wait, what is still standing? The Brute and Bucky. Okay, I'm going after Bucky. <clears throat> okay. Because he's still got my effect on him anyways. Sure. Uh, 17 hits. Got a hit. So I'm doing this one at a time. Uh, four, eight. So I believe is eight points of damage. Okay, still up. Still up. Still up. Still up. Oh, that's gonna miss because that's a two on the die. So that's gonna be like an eight. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, no, that misses. Nah. Yeah. But at least I got one to hit. So at least my slayer's prey is working. <laughs> All right, and back to you, ah. Riley. You finally taking care of the obviously the most deadliest one of the bunch. <laughs> I said what do you do powerful. now? Um, I don't know. I'm deciding if I should uh, bask in my glory this turn. Nah, I'm just joking. I'm gonna you Eldritch should! blast. Uh, I'm gonna Eldritch blast <laughs> the ghast that Brandon and Merrick have been working on. Okay. Hey, none uh, of us would blame you if you did it. Just please kill Steely. <laughs> uh, twenty four to hit. Twenty four hits. <laughs> Seven damage. Oh, did he kill Steel? Please, close, <laughs> but no gorilla pickle. Gorilla pickle, yeah, gorilla pickles, they're delicious. <laughs> All right, anything else, Riley? I mean, I don't think I can attack again with that, so I'm, I'm done. I think, okay. All right, big brute, final throws of life. Let's kill this little halfling with a 19 on the die a and a boy. six. What? You guys just walk in here and start stabbing He's picking on the little guy. I mean, come on. Pick on somebody your own size. 
As yeah, we did start it. Here's the cast, uh, Crown of Madness. Seven. Uh, yep, seven to hit you. And then Bucky, all out. Anja, you're the only one actually coming after him. That's that's fair. He should. He should. He probably should. So he's going to take. Pray he doesn't freaking kill me here. A couple of swings at you. Oh poop! That is a seventeen to hit. That hits. Yes. Meets beats. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. Oh, I am dead. With uh, that is six piercing damage. Oh, not dead with that. Not, fact, with not that. even enough to actually take me down. If you did that again. And he uh starts running towards the temple again. And he oh he ran away. He's oh, that's what it provokes. That provokes from two of you. Go ahead. Only those in melee, right? Only those in melee. Nah. Unless you have Warcaster. No. That's still a melee thing. Uh, 15. Uh, that's going to hit. Tw- 17, 23. 23 will hit. Sorry, not Slayer. Slayer's Prey. Can't add Slayer's Prey to it. Oh, good. I rolled max damage. Uh, 10 points. Please tell me I take yeah. that fucker down. You don't take that fucker down. Damn it! And how how mother. far can he he run in this turn? Uh, he could jump the river. Yeah, if how far can he run? A in natural this turn? one. <gasps> he fell in the river. This die is dead to me. <laughs> dead. So, so we literally just watched him get hit, turn around, flee, <laughs> and then Fling trip in the river. So <laughs> so I'm just gonna I'm gonna say this because it was one of where his uh, crown got. Caught on a stalactite. Uh, I was gonna give Anja a little bit more credit, but yeah, no, I like no! that better. Let's not give her credit. Damn it! Come on, give me. He the got credit. distracted as Anja cuts at its back legs, <laughs> catches a stalactite, and then proceeds to clothesline itself into the river. <laughs> uh, guys, if you uh, haven't gotten your murder hobo ink uh, D sixes. Um, <laughs> Oh, they're in the basement. I suggest you get them, but only if you're a player and you're not rolling damage to your own creatures. I rolled three <laughs> sixes and a four. Wow. He kills yeah. Bucky and he's yes! six. Yes! All the magic items he had are gone forever. All gone. All the teeth gone, unless you want to jump in there after him. Um, I'm helping. Um, actually, before the si- teeth sink, can I... Um, oh, man, what was that? The cantrip I have. Mage hand. Mage hand. <laughs> we will see in just a bit here. Let's go with Bran. There's still the big brute left. Although he certainly looks like he does not have much fight in him either. God. Come on, Bran, murder it. Keep in mind you have to get across this river too. Oh. Uh yeah. yeah, I will uh strike for fifteen. That sounds like it's gonna miss. 15 hits. Oh, it does? Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Six damage. Six. Oh, I kill and it. with that, uh, how do you kill the big brute? Let's let's uh, make it clownish because everyone else has died that way. <laughs> um, actually, yeah, no, I ha- I, I, I've been waiting to actually do something like this. Uh, I, I haven't had a good couple, I haven't had a good hour. No, 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 you really haven't. I actually want to like uh, strike it with a pressure point, but as I see it wobbling, mm-hmm. uh, it, it, this thing has like half its head missing, right? Yes. Uh, I actually want to strike a pressure point, like on the neck, uh, like on a vein of the neck, mm-hmm. so that the blood builds up and the rest of the cavity just explodes out. <laughs> oh, God, wait! You are not doing that. Yep. Oh, I literally, I, 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 I told you, this is the North Star base character here. Yeah, you can't, you can't give me shit for like terrorizing <laughs> anyone else now. <laughs> After my phobia, I yeah, no, things are gonna start. Things are gonna start exploding. <laughs> hey, so do I, make I like it, Anja. Make me a wisdom <laughs> saving throw, please. <laughs> As you strike the neck, there's just <laughs> probably gonna fail that. And it collapses down. Actually, onto its actually, knees. wait, 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 wait. I think, doesn't the rule that you automatically fail that? 
If you're put in that situation, one of the things about having a phobia is you automatically gain a point of dread. I'm going to have your role in this case. Okay. Because two of our gas have died by bleeding out in a river. Oh, that one. That one. Blood. <laughs> I didn't roll in that one, but I, I only rolled. I, it's what? Uh, what the hell is it? Wisdom? Yeah. That's, only, wisdom. Uh, that's only an 11. So that probably is going to make it. <laughs> what dread am I at now, actually? Uh, you should have a DC listed uh, for your dread or for your insanity. Um, pre- oh, do I need to go look it up? <laughs> That's your DC. Uh, so I know it's more. I know it's more than eleven. Okay, uh, I think you it's go like up a, f- a level of dread. Then what level am I at? I have a written. I'm at level five. Oh shit! Yeah, you are. Yeah, no, this is why my character doesn't care right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm uh, at <laughs> shit. Am I at, was I really at three? Are you back at four again? I think so. Unless I, unless I don't have it recorded right, but it's his last one I said was the last change I have. It says three. I think that's right, actually. Yep. Son of a bitch. You give me another insanity. I'm going to murder you, DJ. <laughs> and that's, I'm telling the player this, about the character. All right. At the DC of your previous insanity. Give me another wisdom saving throw. All right. Do you know what that is, or do I have to look it up? I'm going to... You're going to have to look it up, but let's All right, pull it anyway. Up. We know the area it's around. Nope. <clears throat> I know that's going to fail. It's a 7 plus 2 is 9, so it's going to fail. 7 plus 2 is 9. Fuck! So this thing, you just pop right into the pressure point at the neck. There's this moment where it stops, and then <sighs> this already empty cranium just sprouts blood it falls to its knees and it stops sprouting out blood but then at this point the skull fills in with blood like an overflowing goblet and starts pouring out over the eye sockets and around this crown uh, of bone uh, around its head and it just kind of spills out unfortunately it does this right in front of you Anja yep does it put, hey, just for, for funsies, does it actually throw any blood on me? I think that's a, a, a wonderful... It's gushing like I know, crazy. I'm covered. I literally, I'm before you even roll any other facts, I literally freaking scream. <laughs> In horror. It does not manage to get on you. However, it just falls down at your feet. And so it kind of if you don't move away from this, your boots become sopped in this creature's blood. I and, uh, do me a favor, roll a d20. I'm gonna friggin' f- I freeze at, at uh six. Six, yep. Okay, do I get another four? <laughs> God damn it, fuck me. Fine, thank you so much, DJ. This is all your fault. Yes. Uh, what am I looking up? I'm looking up. Welcome to Call of Uh Oh, I know I'm looking for. All right. Uh, and with that, the battle is over. Uh, roll a D100 for me, Riley, as your mage hand comes along to try and pluck out one of Bucky's antler teeth. Oh, shit. You're actually giving me a chance. I'm so happy. Yeah, no, you got I this will not quick. let you down. I, is it like a, a crown that Bucky's wearing, or is those actually growing out of his head? Well, lower is it's better, right? Growing out of his head. Lower is better, right? Lower is better. Ten. Yeah. On a D100. That's pretty low. <laughs> Upon hitting the stalactite that caused it to flip into the river, it actually loosened up one of these antlers and your mage hand grabs onto it and in the intense heat, you manage to pry off this massive uh, and... I'll see if I can get you a picture of this later. It looks like 
uh, a moose antler, but teeth are all just growing out of it, all random. And despite the fact that it's not like in a mouthful of saliva, it is wet, and you manage to grab an antler from Bucky. <laughs> um, now that I have it, and it is firmly in my hands, mm-hmm. I say that, I'm going to use my... Uh, was it Eyes of the Rune Creeper or Eldritch Sight? One of those two to detect magic just to see if it's magical or not. It is not magical. But it is wet. Awesome. But you look up from it and every single eye on this temple staring at you is glowing with this faint magic. Oh. And if you take the time, it's all divination magic. And I, I am... will say, all of you are observational enough. These eyes have been watching you the entire time and still continue watching you. If you discuss it with another, it's like, I think that cat's eye is looking at me. Like, no, 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 the cat's eye is looking at me. No, no, it's looking at me. You can go 50 feet apart from each other. It still looks like it's watching both of you. In reality, it's the cat's eye that's watching all of them. The cat's eye is just staring unfocused off in the distance. (laughs) Well, that's good to know. Now I have this antler with teeth. Can this be... Can I what what would it take to actually get proficient in this particular antler? Um, not so it's like a, a makeshift weapon, but I'm actually proficient in it. Just just wondering if Venting I can... a fighting style? <laughs> well, it just seems interesting. <laughs> I've got my claws, I got my fighting dagger, style. I got my magic. Now I have an antler with teeth. Keep the antler. <laughs> ah, why not? You could probably carve it into a mace or something. Mm. I could. Sharpen it down. You can carve it into a wand, possibly. I can sharpen the teeth individually. Ooh, ooh, you can make a uh, war mage wand out of it. Oh, what it, what it, oh. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Klingon <laughs> weapon. Oh my gosh. Uh, a uh, batleth. Uh, uh, a batleth. <laughs> <laughs> I've got batleth You need the other antler for that. <laughs> No, no, no! I, I got this. We, we'll, we'll make it work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now that I've had my fun, you can get back to it, DM. I All right. All of these eyes are watching you. Uh, if you go back to looking for the trail, the drag marks do lead across this river and into this temple. Uh... You are all level five. Brand just goes off to the edge and just kind of collapses a bit, and he's just breathing heavy. Sure. I haven't moved. Actually, so, four is... I, I looked up the table and everything. Although I can't find the DCs, but... Um, but still, what happens, actually, is I, I basically, when the thing explodes, I drop my weapons, I just stand there, I'm staggered. Do I... Yeah, even better. This blood just kind of rushes out of the skull and just touches and starts coating your feet. Yep. It is it... awful. I just kind of try. I can't comprehend. I can't. Julio is just sitting there staring at this thing. These things aren't dead, right? How fresh does that blood look? They're these things are alive. Yeah. They are not yes. alive. I mean, Cthulhu, they are these are and gas dead. Are, are living. <laughs> These are the level, okay. Yeah, but not that scrawny one. <laughs> uh, no, Bucky and Moxie are making their way down the mud river. Uh, to Going start down the river. As you take this break, uh, like I said... Oh, all right, that's right. I got to level up my character. I'm like two into the whole flipping... You are on my role playing this level five. <laughs> and You're rolling hit points now. You will roll your hit points now. Uh, I believe and level five is a big level, but I think everyone kind of knows what's going on. And I kind of want to get to this temple here. So let's go ahead and start since Anja and Riley have the most work to do. Uh, Brand, what, uh, what's your. Uh, 
hit die? Uh, eight. I rolled a six. Rolled a six. Okay. I rolled a four, so you keep your six. <sighs> and at this level, do you get anything cool and special for being a Actually, doctor? not really. Not really at all. I think it was level four. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I really get anything much this level. Okay. Just an extra Kai point. Well, extra Kai point. You get to hit an extra time, too, yeah? Extra attack? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know if I do. I think I might. I'll While look you look up. that up, uh, Merrick, let's go with you. Uh, what is your hit die? Uh, I pretty sure I'm eight as well. All right. So go ahead yes. and roll your D8. Got yeah, seven. Two. You guys better not roll low because one of you is doomed. Oh, I get... Uh, oh, I'll be doomed because I rolled crap. I got extra attack and stunning strike. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, no more monks after this is what I'm hearing. Barrick, do you get anything interesting with level this level? Um, some extra sneak attack damage, proficiency, and I get uncanny dodge. Just me have damage when I'm attacked as a reaction. Okay. Nice. I, all right. No more monks, no more rogues. I think we're done. Uh, Riley or Anja, who's next? Uh, I rolled a three. It's a D10. Three with a D10? Yeah. That show up? Yeah. Mm. Can't That's see. a 10. Oh, I'll, max. T- I'll take my fucking get 10 max. <laughs> this time it actually worked. All right. All right. Riley... So then I get a plus two. So it's 12, uh, 33 plus. No. I rolled an eight on a D8. This is when I rolled the eight. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I really did. Okay. So it's oh, a reroll? Reroll. Re-roll. Seven. One. So you get to keep your seven. Seven. Okay. Yep. Uh huh. Woo. It's the only right, time where it really bites you in the ass there. Yeah. All right. And uh, new spells. You guys want to talk about them or do you want to save them for uh, when they show up? I'll have to decide. I have to decide. Oh, there's many decisions to be made. There's many. Okay. We'll let you guys hold off there. You guys are in front of this temple. Um, do you want to take a short rest while you're here? Uh, yes, I have to. Yeah, I'm hurt. <laughs> yeah, same here. Uh, yeah, I guess I did use a spell slot. <laughs> I used that one. <laughs> I, I'll take it back. Thank you guys. Yeah, I missed two. with that one. <laughs> that was the preemptive strike that I failed at. Ah. Uh... I guess I'll watch first then because I'm fine. It's only an hour. Yeah. We don't have to sleep or anything. All right. <clears throat> what did I get at this level, anyways? Oh, all right. I got extra attack. That's what I got. Extra attack? I think you got a second level spell at this point. Oh, yeah, I probably do. <laughs> I haven't looked at spells. Yet. Uh, let's see. So who's taking care of what? Who's healing who? Who's using up hit dice? Does anybody like actually, where do we meet, by the way? And do I flip and snap out of it at some point? Eventually, yeah. Did, did I, I as I say, do I pick up whatever the hell uh, whatever the hell I just picked up, I guess. Do I know what it is yet? Oh, the the new uh, insanity. Yeah, sure. I'll I'll say you'll become very. Uh, if someone tries, you'll know. And what? <laughs> it needs the trigger. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so basically the hour I just stay like quiet, uh, my breathing starts to calm down, and then I, I'm just quiet for like the for an hour, and then I 
just get up uh, looking better and wipe off the blood like on my hands and mask clean myself up a little bit uh Bran will walk over to Anja uh I'm assuming she's walked away from the blood or something by now at some point I will I'll just and it'll be like slow but it's just like you tell she's like completely freaking out he will put out his hand to, to help her up like if she's sitting down and simply say I am sorry you know, or do you realize what that does to me? I do not know. We've only been down here a short period of time. I sent you the message. By the way, as this short rest is continuing, there are more shakes uh, within the ground, underground. You can hear rocks fall in some cases. Uh, and even in this room, there's this part where it splashes down into the river, uh, 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 splashing the sides. Luckily, none of you are near it. It was a stupid roll. And your hour of rest is about over. Once we are ready, I will uh, go over to the river and... Be the first to attempt to jump over. Uh, what is your strength? Thirteen. Thirteen? Do you have athletics? Yeah, plus one. Plus one? Okay. Um, yeah, I'll need you to give me a roll if you want to try and hop over this river. Although it uh, would be an eight. You make it. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming I was pretty close, though. Yeah, you were... No, you you do well enough. You don't actually land anything. Maybe, like, a little bit of your robe gets splashed with the mud. Uh, but all in all, you make it over. And as you turn around to try and help others, uh, uh, you notice that actually behind one of these stalagmites, because you rolled before I uh, had the opportunity <laughs> to speak... There does look like there's a board that is used by uh, uh, the ghouls to cross over. I will and make it easier. Go over to the board, put it down, so everyone can cross over. All right. Um, I'm going to use the board. <laughs> Anyone else doesn't want to use the board? I'm going to use the board. All right, hang okay. on. And the board cracks and everyone falls in. That's right. Yeah, so as you uh, walk closer to this temple, again, the drag marks, the tracks do lead up to it these glowing eyes still all watch you and as you get closer you see even more iridescent lights uh, eyes in this wall there are thousands of them and to a few of you looking closer at the stone while they glow kind of this sheer kind of pearlescent color they're all this light green um, of a very familiar looking stone. Wilkemite. Um, I'd like to observe the stone and see if it looks like it's uh, uh, clearly it's odd and unnatural, but I'll see if it's like it's the Wilkemite set into the wall or if it's somehow like part of the wall. Uh, that'd be uh, an investigation. And I think it's actually low enough. This is set into the stone. Um, not natural occurring. Um, I'll say if you want to give me 
and anyone else can help in on this if they like a history or an investigation check um can give you some more details i rolled a 20 investigation yeah uh so that is good enough this is all the stonework on there the floor itself this is a fairly new addition to the caverns. Judging the... by marks on the walls, it is made by ghoul claws. However, if you kind of keep looking around the area and others kind of help you out as well, there are uh, pickaxes, uh, which seems unusual because these gl- uh, ghouls dig with their hands and dig well enough that they don't actually need pickaxes unless they were digging up diamond or something like that. Do I know of any gods that have a depiction with multiple eyes such as this? Um, You can give me a religion check. If someone wants to give me a Yog Sothery, Yog Sothery, Nat twenty, Nat twenty, so a total of twenty-four. Uh, the Yog Sothery, I rolled a really good roll, actually. Good. Um, that would be a twenty-three. Twenty-three. Okay. Yep. Uh, they pretty much got all the information. Um. So, Bran, um, the imagery is on the walls. This is definitely great old ones. Riley, you can tell that, too. This is just that same eerily feeling you get when you're on that extra dimension uh, uh, with your patron. Um, But this is definitely their handiwork. With many eyes... You would know this to be an ancient being known as uh, Fatanathoa. G-H-A-T-A-N-O-T-H-O-A. With a G-H pronoun as, as an F. Because I like it that way. Fatanathoa. Where, and this is where you start to break away, Bran. Although, if anyone discusses it with you, it does become familiar. Fadnathoa was an ancient god that lived in a volcano on the island of Mu, uh, which has long since disappeared from this world. Although there's, I would imagine Mu as the lost city of Atlantis, this ancient place. Um, of wondrous technology, knowledge that vanished at some point. And Bran, you haven't heard of this, but the words Moo, Fatnathoa, you might actually have some papers about what happened at Moo in your uh, uh, stash. Um, But anyway, uh, Fenithoa lived in this volcano and its cult, in order to keep it peaceable, would sacrifice living victims to it. Uh, At this point, your Yogg-Sothothri, Anja, you know that this creature was so foul that even if a likeness, a, a close enough image to what Fentanthoa actually looked like, anyone who saw it would become petrified. What's the name of the creature again? Can you spell it? G-H-A-T-A G-H-A-T-A okay. N O. T H O A. In fact, anyone who gazed upon Fenithoa uh, would become mummified and petrified. 
Uh, like that monkey that we saw? That was frozen in fear outside of uh, Farzine? Oh, that would be funny. Looking towards the volcano, right? Just just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it said it's a god of, it's a god of the volcano. It was the uh, uh, living ancient god of this volcano on the island of Mu, which sank beneath the waves a long time ago. This entire civilization is thought to have been destroyed, but there's still rumors of it going on here or there. The odd treasure hunter who, you know, wants to dive down and find it. Uh, and it's said that ghouls and their ilk are supposedly uh, resistant to the gaze of Fatnathoa. That they can gaze upon it and not turn. Hmm. So is this guy kind of like, um, how should I say it? Uh, one, is it considered an evil god? Two, is it one like that? If speaking its name or worshiping it would be a crime in civilized lands. Um, I mean, any god where you sacrifice living victims to it is not seen as good. Fair. Um, I mean, if there is a good god who uh, does that. I'm honestly not aware of him. I'm just confirming. Mm -hmm. And that uh, is all you know. I would actually like to look at the pickaxes too. Sure. And I will pass one to Merrick as well. I'm looking for any form of like insignia, property symbol, like, you know, like the bird marks, like, oh, for West Coast Trading Company or something like that. Or initials, you know, because a lot of people would have their tools but didn't want them stolen by other coworkers, so they might have initials on it or something. Yeah, just seeing if there's anything like that. Yes, I mean, since the ghouls don't use them, maybe it's the Scaries or uh, Mateo or something that was enslaved to dig this out. Uh, these are adamantine pickaxes. High quality. Each <laughs> are stamped with a symbol from an Arukatan mining company. Oh, wow. These are not cheap. Yeah. Ad it's these are like super rare. How rare is adamantine in, this, in our setting? Here on the island, there's not too much of that. Um, elsewhere, um, depending on where you go, most of the adamantine is um, from the uh, Gnomish Mountains. Uh, that would be to the south. Uh, no, not south, sorry. Yeah, north of, of where Farzine is. So this bottleneck that you guys have of this sea, it would be right there. Farzine would just be there. Take these. How many are there? Three. I'll carry one. We may need them. They might be decent weapons. I will grab one. I'd like to carry one. Yeah. Riley, were you raising your hand for a question? Oh, um, yeah. Detect magic again. Detect magic. There's, again, just this wall of eyes as you detect magic. They're all divination. And you can't help but feel like as you cast Detect Magic, even more of the eyes just kind of pop out to look specifically at you. There's a weight. Um, well, this is creepy. So uh, in preparation, I'm going to use a back, uh, bonus action to use my invocation Cloak of Flies. 
So if you're not aware of this, once per short rest as a bonus action, I can surround myself with a five foot aura of flies that grants me advantage on intimidation checks, but disadvantage on all other charisma checks. As we all turn and what a, the F? <laughs> no, a creature that starts its turn in the aura takes plus five or yeah, five poison damage because it's my charisma modifier. <laughs> so if you start within melee range of me, you take five damage. <laughs> and it stays until I'm incapacitated or dispel it. Sure. Uh, it's just like the words fall off of your tablet and these letters start floating and flying around you in this buzzing loud noise. It's creepy. Hope none of you uh, have a problem with insects. <laughs> oh, I am a ranger and they are part of the natural order of things. Which is far more natural than a lot of the things I've seen today. <laughs> like blood. <laughs> Shut <joking>. up. <laughs> Bran will stare at Riley for a moment, but he doesn't say anything. You it's... did this to me, Bran. <laughs> I said <laughs> Riley, I'm staring. Dare... I know, but how dare you I'm, not, I'm staring at, at the bugs. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, with the hour of rest, yeah. um, oh, give get... me one more DC saving throw, Anja. Oh, because this will go well, since the other two went so terrifically well. No, this answers whether you're down oh. to a two or a three. Actually, I think it's going to drop a bit, a bit, because I think that's a 19 on the die, so that's 21. Okay. You immediately lose uh, Dread 4 shortly after <laughs> getting it and your insanity. Um, and then with an hour passing time, you'd lose one. Uh, Bran, Just one, not at two. three, so you lose one. Uh, I'm at five. Oh, you're at five. Yeah. So yeah, wait, wait. you put me at five after the last session. Oh my goodness. So wait, am I at three or am I at two? Because you said I could lose two. I'm confused. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and give me a DC uh, saving throw as well for the five. So wait, Kyle, what you, am I at? When you hit. Dread four. Yeah. You check to see if you gain an insanity. Right. Whether you do or not, you make another save to see if you immediately drop back down to three. And that goes for four, five, six, seven. You automatically check to see if you drop one. So you okay, drop, okay. You're back at three. An hour of rest drops to get down to two. Okay, so I'm at two now. Okay. Yes. Great. So 13. 13. If I remember correctly, um, that drops you down to a four. four. And now you're at a three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did anyone else get insanity or dread levels? <laughs> no, we're just so lucky, too. I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll I just got this antler thing. with teeth. Yeah, that's and a cloak of flies and a, and a snaggle tooth all in one session. It's great. <laughs> I need a new character drawing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm waiting for the uh, response in Discord. <laughs> okay. So you stand at these temple doors. Do you want to go in? Did Brand share with us the information about? Uh, yes, I will. Uh, uh, what was it? Daddy <laughs> What was the name of the guy again? Uh, Bad Natoa. Bad that's right. Bad Natoa. Daddy Natoa. That's right. That's why he sits at a volcano. He just relaxes, gets himself fat. Yeah. Daddy Natoa. The volcano god. All right. I feel like he's, feel like he's a mobster. Daddy Natoa. <laughs> well, we'll see. I've got a proposition. <laughs> Let's do it, Kyle. Let's bust through these doors. Are the All doors right. locked or they already opened? What? They We're are and thrown them, no matter what. If you try them, they are large doors. You pull them open, they will open up. All right. We'll open them. All right. 
Actually, uh, should probably look for secret passages first. Yeah. There are no secret passages. And there was no magic items other than all those yeah, items on the wall. Us says out door. Loud. You walk into a antechamber. And as you walk through, you see a sight. Uh, whether surprising or not, I leave up to you. Uh, there are barrels, there are crates in this side room, and it is, if you kind of look and glance, stacked with clothes, hats, shoes, buttons, watches, gold teeth. Like, taken from victims? Yep. They Any familiar not... skirt uh, dress pieces? None. Uh, However, there are garbs of, if you take the time to look, there are garbs of priests or priestesses of light uh, folded up among them. Yep. Oh. Um, folded up like any... they were removed essentially or like rip, ripped from the... They were removed gently, it looks like. There's no obvious need for stitching. There's wear, uh, but it looks like it was removed as gently as a thing maybe with claws could do. Are there names written in them? Uh, no. Or <laughs> just wondering if one said Mateo or something. I don't know. No, no, no. no. Uh, the clothing, does it look like burial clothing or street clothing? A combination. A majority of it looks like burial clothing uh, and there are um, some small uh, boxes with jewelry that looks fairly important. Gaudy, but not really worth too much. Oh, so none will emanate a magical presence when I cast Detect Magic right now? Not even the Golden Thief? Not even the Golden Teeth. Well, either way, I'm pocketing the Golden Teeth. I have a, I have a teeth thing, thing now. <laughs> it's It's happening. All right, Mama Udu. Okay. Oh, yeah, I guess that was a thing. <laughs> this happened through another means. This was a natural evolution of crazy. Um, yeah, if you take the time to look, uh, you can find about... Let me see here. Uh, the jewelry, if you... I don't know what you decide to take. the If you take the teeth... You got 10 gold pieces right there. If you can manage to melt them down and uh, or sell them. That's uh, if they're actually gold. Down, that's 10 it may just gold. be yellow. I, I may actually uh, see if I can attach them to the antler. <laughs> and it's, it's going to be a mix of sharpened bone antler teeth and golden teeth. Oh my god! Potentially also shaped into points. We'll see how it goes. Oh boy. Actually, no. gold is pretty uh, malleable. That's not a good use for that. No, it's not. Never That's mind. Soft. I take that back. I'll use it in my it's too experiments. Late. It's already in there. You're like trying to push it in. They're just bending the teeth. Uh, it doesn't quite work that way. Ah, that's good to note. Uh, if you go through uh, any of the clothing, um, you'll find about a silver two pieces uh, worth of money that's just kind of been sewn into clothes. And yes, right. Uh, do I find I will specifically look for uh, clothing that a worshiper of the Raven Queen would be wearing? You do not find any of that. Okay. He said, I'm not sure you want to go there. <laughs> uh, that's not there yet. Anyway. Um, you also kind of sifting through, looking. Um, there's this mass made of a really thick cowhide that looks like a jaundice yellow. Um, if you were to put it over your head, you kind of put your hand in it just to look at it. Nasty feel. And there's this symbol of as you look at it a volcano with an eye surrounded by teeth over it and these two very narrow slits 
where the eyes would be. I will take that. Okay. Do you definitively know that it's cowhide? Um, actually, would I be able to, to definitively tell what type of uh, organ this uh, leather is with a medicine check? Uh, it's cowhide. Okay. Yeah. Shut up, guys. You gotta ask the stupid questions, don't you? Yeah, make sure you're paying attention to your chat, too. No, shut yeah. up. Yeah. You are, but that's beside the point. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, no. As soon as you kind of enter these doors, the eyes uh, are no longer watching you um, because they are simply on the outside of this chamber. Um, uh, but that is all that you see in this particular room. And How large is this room? Set of doors. Uh, is about 30 feet long uh, when you get to that side room there. That's another uh, uh, 20 by 20 feet. Is Are the walls like just bare and plain or are they ornate? These are bare and plain. Okay. So there's like a side door, just one other in, uh, Directly exit? Directly across from the door you came in, there's another door. It's like, okay, yeah, the ghouls carry the bodies in here, strip all the clothes off, fold them, place them down, continue their way through the hall to the other side. I will look to make sure everyone's ready before continuing on. Yep, I got my focal yeah, sure. flies. I'm, I'm so ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Not. All right, uh, I would like to go up to the next door, but I'd like to take a look to make sure there's no traps or anything on it. I'll actually uh, I guess at this point we know uh, Merrick might be smart about that as well and I'll kind of wave him over. Roll me investigation checks or one at an advantage. I will give him advantage. Give me the roll, Merrick. Okay, you said Go investigation. Merrick. Yeah, uh, with advantage. So you roll twice, take better. I rolled two twenties. <laughs> oh wow! damn! Oh, oh my lord! That makes up for a lot of failure. He doesn't find the trap, but he knows how to make a <laughs> trap on it now. <laughs> you can tell that it's two large doors. If you open up the one on the right hand side, uh, it bypasses a trap. If you try and open both, or just the left hand side. Uh, it looks like it springs uh, a, a trap. What it is, you don't know yet until you open it up and kind of get a glance on the other side. Gotcha. At so we should open, open the right door then. So you tell us that? Hey, come open up the left door. Riley, I just imagine like <laughs> Aragorn walking into Helm's Deep, <laughs> <laughs> slamming open the door. I suppose I'll come to uh. (laughs) We'll go through the right. Okay. You walk through the right door. uh, And as Merrick spotted, it looks like there's this kind of ankle wrenching trap. Like swings this beam across right at ankle height. Um, hard enough that it looks like it's going to crack or break something and it's going to make a lot of noise while doing it so you've managed to enter uh, this temple quietly Um, Bran you can hear the sounds of um, metal on stone as well as some mirthful uh, uh, laughs from ahead. Is it lit in here? It is lit. I snuck my lantern. And no one can tell the difference because you all have dark vision at this point. No, I don't. And Bran doesn't. Oh, wait. Yeah. Everyone, Never everyone mind. <laughs> Never mind. Bran apparently does too. 
How Never did mind. Brian get dark vision? Never mind. Nothing, we know that Brian has dark vision. Here. You guys don't know he has dark vision. Nothing to see here. We'll Brian it never... Back. It's the mask, isn't it? <laughs> yes. yes. It's totally the mask. Well, then give it to me it's so I can lump, inspect it's it. It's a class feature. <laughs> we'll say class, class feature. feature. Yeah. It's fine. I kept and the tooth. you open up these doors, you notice the trap, and you walk <coughs> into this room. Brand you hear the noise. And as you all kind of look around embedded into the walls uh completely unlike the uh uh the white room the bone room of uh the yogash clan this one has bones but they're very sparsely and lightly used depicting of these you would assume ghouls uh and these humanoids and there's these murals embedded into the wall made of these bones and stone carvings depicting battles uh, between what looks like islanders and these ghouls. From the corner of your eye, this room splits off into two different directions. One of them looks like it goes down a pair of stairs. The other, well, sorry, three exits. One to your immediate left goes down a pair of stairs hallway. One is directly in front of you, containing uh, uh, what looks like an even... That's the sound of the merciful laughing coming from up ahead. There's a side room just off of that where you can see stacked like kindling, like logs prepared for a fire are corpses. And with that, let's go ahead and end tonight. So you said we heard laughing, by the way? Yes, yes, you did. I said we're ending tonight, right now. I know, I know, I know, I know. I just want to get this from my notes. All right, guys. Uh, pleasure having Fuck. everyone who decided to watch us tonight to go through this field one more time. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. Uh, if you want to join in the one shot this Saturday or the one next Saturday, hit us up at mhoboink at gmail.com or on Twitter to join in on, on that. Uh, if you want to ask some questions uh, about what horrible things these players are going through next, you can ask it on Discord, but I might not answer you truthfully just for the funs and giggles of it. Uh, maybe you'll give me ideas on what terrible things to do next. Um, all in all, uh, thanks, Jacob. Thanks, Ernie. Thanks, Carol. Thanks, DJ. Thanks. And uh, we will go ahead and wave and say good night. Good night. Thanks.